Sam, what a curious game that must have been for you. Uh, lots of first half chances. Um, fewer in the second half. You end up with a couple of goals. How did you see it today? Um, it was a roller coaster game. Uh, obviously, I've, I've missed a couple in the first half, which which I'll put my house on. But um, that's the nature of the beast being a striker. Um, lads picked me up at half time. Manager had some words for me at half time, and and we all rallied in the second half and, and went out and got a deserved point. I'm interested to know what you were feeling as you went off at half time. What what was going through your head at that point? Well, I come back on. Um, <laughs> to be honest with you, I think um, the manager's more concerned that if we weren't making the chances and we weren't getting into the right areas. So we were getting into the areas, and I was finding myself in a bit of space. And um, fortunately, the second half was a, a change of fortune. You must have loved the space you were getting today. The amount of times you made those runs in behind, I think couple of one-on-ones fairly early on in the game. Um, was that the timing of your runs or the quality of the ball or the bit of both? We've got the midfielders who can who can pick a pass out definitely. We've got some talented creative players and so I know that if I if I make the runs and get it right that they'll be able to find it. We were discussing in commentary perhaps the first goal you scored was maybe harder than the three in the first half that you hadn't taken. It was definitely harder than the first one, I'll tell you that, yeah. Yeah. Well that was the header, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. The first one. Yeah. yeah, we thought I gotta be honest, we shouted goal, thought it was in. Um, what happened? I'm not five for eight. I'm not a I'm not, <laughs> I'm not someone who enters the ball a lot, um, but um that, no, it's no excuse. I um I thought if I just put it in in the near in the near post there's no chance Dave's getting across. Yeah. And um, he wouldn't have got across to that because it's the wrong side of the post. So you just cut the margins too tight, did you? Yeah, yeah. And the one-on-ones, you had one at Watford as well. Do those sort of things play on your mind when you've had a few, the keeper's made saves and another one comes along? Or are you able to be completely focused, block it out, and you know what you're going to do the minute the ball comes to your foot? Uh, I'd be lying if I said it, it didn't affect me. Um, but as a striker, you have to take the... Um, the negatives as well as the positives. You're, you're the first one to put your hand up when you score a goal. So when people are, when you miss a chance, you're, you're going to expect the stick. But um, I think we rallied round really well as a team at half time, and, and we showed the type of characters that we are and that we've got in the dressing room to to respond the way that we did. So when you come out for the second half, what do you do? Do you say a quiet prayer? Do you just breathe in? Just say I'm going to keep doing it and wait for that next chance to come? How does it work? Uh, no, I need to be vocal. I need to to be to be bouncing. I need to feel quick. And and we went out the way we started the the second half. We were on the front foot, and so we were we were in there half a lot a lot of the time. So um, I knew we'd make more chances. It was just down to me then. You got 14 now, I think, haven't you? Four of those against MK. Is it something about playing your old club that's particularly special? I think it's the way they play. To be honest with you, they're um, they're an expansive team. Um, which often means that they leave a lot of space in behind, and, and that's that's the type of movement that I like to that I like to play. On. And arguably, well, the game could have finished what seven three, seven four, five all. Could have been anything today, couldn't it? A bit like the game at their place. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the way they play. They're, they're an entertain, entertaining team, and they're um, they'll always be good, good value for money. Glad of a few days off now after running your legs off what three tough games in in the space of eight days. A few days off news to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I say game, no game this week is what I mean. Uh, yeah, no, um, no, we'll be back in Monday and we'll have a tough day Tuesday, hopefully rest on, on Wednesday and and then prepare for Saturday. But then, yeah, we've got three weeks of, of three games in a week, so it's, um, it's definitely going to be um, going to be tough on the bodies. But we've we've strengthened the squad and he, uh, the, the manager's more more likely to to rotate in these in these next few weeks. And I'm guessing, what, the family here today with yourself and George on the pitch towards the end of the game? Yeah, George is waiting in the car now. I'm going to gonna take him back to mine. We're going to go out for some dinner. So. Great. Have a good night. Well done on the goals. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Sam, which was worse, losing, missing the chances or getting tackled by your brother at the end there? He got up with a big smile on his face. Yeah, it's because he knows it was a foul. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just said, he used to lie in your ankle. He goes, what? I go, what for him? He goes, the tackle. It's not a tackle, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah. Uh,
<laughs> no, no, that... You talk about that on the way back, for sure. Yeah. The, their yeah. manager mentioned it and everything, so it's obviously been gone around their dressing room. We can't mention it. Yeah, can't mention it. Yeah, 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 your brother got a title. Yeah, he'll <laughs> mention to me in a minute, no <laughs> <laughs> Sit on a serious, more serious note, uh, Steve's been a striker himself, and he, he was saying that when you come in on, on an angle, one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper, maybe one option is to switch the ball and, and uh, make a di slightly different angle for yourself. Uh, what I was going to ask you is, do you think it's the sort of thing you can work on in training, or can you not replicate having 11,000 people looking at you when you're going through on goal? I mean, is it something you can work on in training to perhaps convert more of those chances, you think? Um, yeah, yeah, you can, but you, you can never replicate no, the match situation. Yeah. It's not something that I've struggled with before, sort of, say, confidence, but mm. I just can't have come out with two goals. But the um, guys from MK will, will tell you I was a lot more clinical than than I have been since since my Bristol City days and um I don't know I don't know why that is but but I have to I have to look past that now. I'm not gonna let my head drop and I have to keep going. 